Hi, it's Charlie, and I hope you're very well. It's Monday's video, and I'm just going to pose a question to you this morning, and that is, are we better off, once we get into a trade, leaving our stop in its original position until we reach target? With the increased volatility that we have in the currency markets and the markets generally speaking, um, stock markets as well, um, what we're finding is that markets are having these you know, nice pushes but in both directions and so what you can find is that your analysis might be right and that you get into a trade, it runs, you might trail your stop up a little bit, you think you're doing the right thing, moving your stop up to maybe break even or whatever, the market moves back down, seems to stop you out only to then reverse and then go back up higher again and we all experience trades like that. But with the, the market volatility the way it is, that seems to be happening a little bit more often. I'm certainly noticing it a little bit more often than normal. I, I'll put up with it um, normally, but I've noticed that it's happening a little bit more frequently than it, than it previously used to. So let's give you an example here. So let's bring up the um, pen. And so I've just got this on a daily chart of the euro here. But let's say for whatever reason, after this pullback, you've decided to get long. You get in long over here. It starts going up, and a typical and the initial stop loss is let's for argument's sake down here. Um, it's coming up quite nicely at this through all this. Um, and you're thinking, okay, um, it's come up quite a bit. I move my stop up to break even. You move your stop up to break even. It then rolls down, just about nicks you out there, only to then carry on going higher again. It's that type of thing that can happen, and. Um, whether you move your stop to break even or you're even in the in the trade managing it a little bit more and then price just does a bit more of a retracement. So what you probably need to do, and myself included, is to go back if you have a if you have a set type of strategy or um, method um, that you follow, then look at the amount of times, go back over all of your trades and look at the times when you're getting stopped out only to see the market then go higher again. Is there something you could have done? Now, obviously, I'm not. What I'm not advocating is going and having huge wide stop losses to just to avoid getting stopped out. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is um, just leaving your stop in the original position because rather than tracking up too aggressively, because is it are we actually better off leaving it where it is um, in this in this current market and with the volatility there is because markets can come down, retest levels, only to then go up higher again, um, and then we miss out, so to speak. So it's well worthwhile having a look back through your trades or doing some testing on this to see actually, are you better off leaving your stop where it is, and sometimes it would have gone up a bit, and you can say, oh, if I had have trailed my stop and it rolled all the way over, I would have been better off. Yes, that type of scenario will happen, but in the main, will you be better off leaving your stop where it is, and then not really touching that trade until it gets to your target level. It's interesting, I was having a conversation with a trader about this very subject just at the weekend and we both agreed that when we're swing trading, so when I'm swing trading I very often just leave my stops alone, I don't touch them for ages until the market's really you know, getting much much closer to my target, uh, if at all, I often don't even touch it at all. And so um, and yet with day trades it seems to be the the mindset of all of us as day traders that we want to manage our trades and um, and there's nothing wrong with managing our trades but I'm just posing the question here today on a Monday that um, if we didn't manage those trades and just left those stop losses where they were initially not so about having necessarily wider stops but that's a different subject matter entirely but just having your stop at its original position and then just leaving that are you actually better off in doing so rather than moving up to break even only to find it rolling over. Some people will find that um, they're better off leaving their stop where it was and other people will find that actually no, uh, bring it to break even actually does make a difference. It depends on the type of trading that you do. Obviously there's certain sort of styles that where they're actually you are actually better off moving it up to break even once, once it's um, once it's bounced, I started moving in your direction. I don't know, maybe a counter trend trader might be better off that way. I don't know. So um, by all means, let me know what your views are on that about trailing um, stops and, and your own experiences on, on that uh, with regards to markets moving up, coming back down and stopping you out only to then go higher in your analysis overall having been correct. So I shall leave that with you today. Um, there's not really too much to say. Obviously we've got ECB this week on Thursday so that's going to be a big one this Thursday and so um, that will really have an impact on the euro, dollar, euro against 
all the major currency pairs. So um, really be watching and seeing what happens with um, the euro dollar, especially um, going into or after th after ECB, and then um, we'll see how the markets react. Um, euro had had a nice little pop um, in the mid part, mid to latter part of last week, just retracing um, today. Um, but um, we shall see what happens. I, I don't, I'm not really going to give you much commentary here today. I shall be back for live trading on Friday.